In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a login screen in Access. Um, now, this will require that the user types in a username and a password, and then the system validates this by using some virtual, um, Visual Basic code. Now, you remember previously that when I opened the database, the splash screen would open, and then, after four seconds, the switchboard would open. Now, what I want to do is create between the splash screen and the switchboard a password login screen. Now, that will mean that I'll need to change a few things here. You remember initially the splash screen, if I go to properties here, you can see that it did on the timer after 4,000 milliseconds, that is four seconds, it, it ran the macro splash switch. And the macro splash switch closed the splash screen and then opened the form called switchboard. Now, I want to change this to so open to the form called login. Now, obviously, I need to create the login form first, so I'll show you how to do that first. So I've got a forms and new. Ignore all this, click on OK. You get a form like this, make it a bit bigger. And here, I'm going to create a label. And here, I'm going to type in please type in username and pass password. And then click on validate. Click off, click back on. Make that a bit bigger, put it in the center, make the label a bit smaller. Now I just need two text boxes. So I create the first here, then I create another one just underneath it. I'm going to use, change the labels and call the first label username and the second label password. I need to change also the names of these text boxes. Despite I've, I've changed the label, I haven't changed the text box. So I'm going to go into properties here, and in other, I'm going to change the name here to username. This is really important. And I'm going to change the password text box to password. I've got to be very careful as spell these properly. Now next, I'm going to create a button. The toolbox is moving out of the way again. I'm going to create a button down here. And I'm going to attach some code to this button that I'm going to ignore this and click on cancel. I'm going to attach some code to this button that's going to check these two text boxes. So I'm going to change, first of all, the label in the button to validate. That makes no difference. You can call it whatever you like. Um, it just makes sense because I've said validate up here. And what I do now is I right click on this button, left click to select it, right click, try it again, right click, go to properties. And in event, I want to go to on click and I'm going to enter some code here. So you go to code builder. Now in the middle bit here, I'm going to put some code in. So I'm going to pause for a second while I do that. And as you can see, the Visual Basic Editor has opened. That's why I've got this bit to put some code in. And here's the code I want to put in. First of all, I set the focus to the username. That means the script will look at the text box called username. That's why it was important you called it that. And here it'll say, if username is user1 and the password is user1, then the message box access granted with the title CB shop will come up. And then the me another message box, you haven't got to put it in, but I just do, I, like two, I like two message boxes with the information CB shop will come up. Then it'll close the password form and it'll open the form called switchboard. Otherwise, if you get the password wrong or the username wrong or both wrong, it'll say please re-enter the username and the password. So let's close that down for now. And I'll close this here. And we'll just test that for now before I start um, integrating into the database. So I'll save it first of all. Call it form login. Click on OK. And I'll just open that form. And we'll try it now. User1. And in password, user1. Click on validate. Access granted, welcome, and it opens the switchboard. Now, I'm going to now try and uh, change the, the login screen so the password doesn't come up as user1 when it's typed in. So I click on that, right click, go to properties, and in data, in input mask here, I go to the options on the right, and I choose password, and I click on finish. And now you'll see when I open the form up, when I type in user1 and user1 again, you can see user1 doesn't come up as text, it comes up as asterisks. Click on validate, the same thing happens. And there we are, the switchboard opens. Now, the final bit I want to happen is when I open this, the um, 
database, I want the splash screen to run, and then I want the login screen to run. So you remember that the macro called splash switch here used to open the switchboard. I want to change that so it opens in the second line here, it opens the form called login. So I do that, save it, and I will give that a go. I go to forms, go to splash screen, and what should happen is the password screen should open, and then when I put the password incorrectly, the switchboard should open. So let's give that a go. Splash screen runs. Then we get the login screen. I'll type in user one. User one password. Validate. It's worked. OK. And the switchboard's opened. So it's worked very, very well. And um, pretty much that's it for creating 